Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to my fusion guys. So today guys, we're not in our F-150 guys. Can you tell? It looks a little different in here. So we're actually guys in my brother-in-law's GMC Sierra Denali guys. So we can go ahead and do a little comparison between this one and our F-150 guys. So stay tuned and so you can see what uh, the difference is between ours and theirs guys. guys so let's go ahead and compare this truck let me go ahead and turn it off and pop the hood so we can go ahead and start there so you can see the type of engine this truck has on here and another thing guys before we go ahead and start looking at some of these items to compare just uh, want to make sure that everybody knows this is a Denali guys which to do a true comparison you probably would have to look at a F-150 Limited and just to, you know, right off the back, we can kind of point these things out. You know, the engine would be a 3.5 high output in comparison to something like this instead of just a, a standard 3.5 that I have. And then also the wheels would be uh, 22 inches, which is the standard on this one. And I have 20 inch. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and look at this engine. This truck right here, guys, has a 6.2 liters V8 in comparison to my truck that has a 3.5. Not high output guys, just a, a standard 3.5, but you know, we'll tune it. We'll, we'll get somewhere close to the high output. So let's go ahead and check this engine out guys. So you guys can tell right off the back, you know, we're talking about a V8 guys in comparison to a V6. And so, hey, what, what kind of output are you getting out of this? They say is uh, for horsepower. 420 it, four, 420 horsepower this should be giving them and about 460 460 on torque guys in comparison to my 3.5 which should be giving me 375 horsepower and i think is what is it 420 torque roughly is what should be giving so you can kind of see the difference there so i think once we we tune the truck you know i think it get a little closer to what this is given but then again guys you know, we're talking about muscle engine here. It's a V8 instead of a uh, V6. So uh, go ahead, man, turn on your truck so they can kind of hear it. Let's see. You got it? Oh, let's go ahead and turn it on. Stay right there, we'll, we'll turn it on. that you know it's a v8 guys so you know it's a muscle engine so you're gonna hear it and so that's why you know you see the difference there but we'll, we'll get close with our with our tune hopefully soon guys all right so moving on guys let's go ahead and i think we should look at the kind of the, just the front of it the grill the headlights you kind of see how it looks in comparison to the F-150 guys. So as you can tell, um, you know, it has a little bit more of a in your face kind of look, I think, because it has a lot more uh, chrome on it. And I think the F-150 kind of looks a little more subtle, you know, look to to the higher ends than uh, the actual Denali, as you can see. I mean, you got chrome on your grill, pretty large. And then you got some chrome on the bottom by the tow hooks as well. And then they kind of add in into the fog lights as well, guys. And you can see the uh, the way their headlights are, guys. They're a little bit smaller in height, I think, to what our uh, F-150s have. Uh, we have what is it, like two Cs, and then this was just kind of one with the headlights right in, on top. And I and I feel that their their fog lights are, are a little higher than what our F-150. I think our F-150 uh, fog lights are a little lower, which I guess changes that proportion that it looks in the front. But you know. 
that's what they've uh, done with theirs in comparison to what we have on our F-150. So go ahead and check it out. move on to the side so we can look at, at the actual running boards guys and you, you guys can also see you know the wheels on here you know 22s if we were doing an apples to apples guys you know that the limited would have 22s on there as well but, you know I got 20s it's okay I still like them I think they look better <laughs> all right guys so another thing that we can look at here that we can compare it to to our F-150 is the way that the running board is guys in comparison to our F-150. So on theirs, it actually comes straight out instead of coming down in between the floor and the actual truck. So here, check it out. You can see there, it swings out. And then this one actually has a little feature, guys, that if we uh, press here on the side, it pulls it to the back so you can step and grab whatever you need from your bed, which is kind of nice, you know? Something that we can have on our wish list, I guess. But I think the 2021, m 150 has something to compete on here with this I, I think they either extended the running board to the back so i think they're, they're uh, looking into that as well but that's one one thing on the side you can see and, and you can actually see the profile too guys it actually looks a lot thicker than we have on the f-150 so just one more time so you guys can kind of see the way that this actual running board comes out of the the truck so it comes straight out Put your option to hit the back the button there and then just goes right back you gotta kick oh, it you gotta kick it oh. there that's another thing that we can look at compare guys see guys you know GMC came out with this new design on their tailgate so you got two buttons here one for the entire tailgate guys and then one button for the actual uh, step but it actually it give you a couple options here guys so if we hit the, the actual button just for the step brings only the step down without the, the entire tailgate and now you got a little working surface here guys or if you're carrying something that's long and you need to just kind of you know have a little area to, to be able to extend it out and then strap it down you got this area here or for fishing guys you know got a little work surface you gotta you know put your fishing line on here and then from there uh you go ahead and you know cast out once you're ready so that's kind of nice now if we're bringing the entire thing down we hit that button on the bottom guys you got that soft drop and then we you go ahead and in case you uh need to stop you have another button on the inside it allows you to bring just kind of a little flap on here guys it's pretty sturdy to get a stop here if you got something long that you know you need a little extra extra inches on here to go ahead and uh, put a stop to whatever load you got in the back that's kind of nice and then the final guys the entire thing coming down with the step right there press that button brings it right down guys and now you got your full step that they have and if you guys can see there's actually an area here for options of adding some speakers and the little control area. So you can go ahead and hook the uh, Bluetooth uh, device to listen to some music without having to mess with the inside. So that, that's kind of nice. And it also has a USB and auxiliary input there that you guys can connect to as well. So that's, that's real nice, guys. So also you know if you guys were wondering where is the handle to get up here is it only a step well guys this one actually has a 
handle here on the side if you can see this it's just surface mounted guys it kind of comes right up and it snaps on here like that you just grab on there guys step up here and then it has the little tab here guys you hit the tab you can bring it back down so no i, I think they it would have been a little nicer if it was kind of a little bit more flush or integrated into the side of the of the bed but hey that's their design guys you know so also it comes with lights guys you can see one here uh this is the only thing uh you know on our f-150 guys we have the button right here on the side we can hit the button the light turns on but not the case here guys we gotta go give me a minute let me go ahead and hit the button on the inside first So once you hit the button on the inside then you can go ahead and turn them on guys then you got two lights at the bottom and your third brake light up there has also lights to go ahead and, and give you some light down here so here before we leave the back guys i think we should also talk about the back window guys so as you can see their back window is about the same size as ours the only thing though is on the f-150 we have glass all the way around the actual opening and they, I don't know, for one reason or another, have gone away from putting glass and they've added some sort of plastic trim instead. Instead of being all glass or maybe putting a shiny plastic, I don't know, just to kind of make it kind of blend in a little bit better. That's their design, guys. You know, I'll ask the owner, do you like it? No, I don't. <laughs> I, I think it would have I, I, I wish they would add something like, like this glossy black yeah i think plastic it would be nice if they would have put that on the bottom and on the top yeah i agree with you i think that would have at least kind of finished the actual look of it because you know it's a luxury truck you know i, I think that would have made it a lot nicer than kind of having this this kind of you know rough texture looking uh plastic on the back but hey that's their design guys Alright guys, so now we're in the inside of the truck, so we can go ahead and compare a couple things, you know, seats, instrument cluster guys, and a couple other items. So first off guys, you can check out the seats, um, you know, they, they, they feel pretty firm guys, kind of nice. I would have to ask the owner uh, if they're comfortable and the options that they come with, you know, this is not my truck of course. Uh, I, one thing I will say though, I, I like the way they put the Nolly right on the headrest that it sticks on there instead of kind of you know the little plate on ours so that, that i think that's really nice you know i would have liked it to say platinum you know so um other than that guys i think these uh seats uh would you say they come with uh heating cooling right similar to ours but i will say he has informed me that they do not come with massage so you know one one point for us there <laughs> on the seats at least <laughs> so um you know they, they're they're nice guys uh, here let's go ahead and and move on to the uh instrument cluster guys and, and we'll show you kind of the front so you kind of see the difference uh let me go ahead and turn this on guys to kind of see the difference so right at the front guys let's see here here let me show you guys for one thing that you also do have so here's the actual instrument cluster is a combination similar to ours with uh you know digital and actual dials but these guys also added if let me see if you can you see that guys the blinking in the glass it's actually projecting the miles and if if you're staying in your lane onto the actual glass so right up there guys that blinking that you guys see that's the actual projection that is being given off to the glass to show you your miles and if you're staying in your lane so that, that's kind of nice that they have and here guys and they will also show you guys how the radio looks so it's about i want to say almost the same size as what i have now and then also guys have the area for the ac and all your options on the actual uh vehicle for power hazardous what have you you know for the actual truck and here's your brake light or i'm sorry not the brake light but the uh the area for the uh, trailer brakes 
and controls. So you can see there, guys. And then you get one outlet there and one for uh, a plug as well. And one other thing, guys, that they do have as well. So you see that mirror there, guys? So you get a flap there, and they get a view from a, an additional camera they have up above the, uh, I think it's right above the back window on the third brake light that gives them a clear view to the back. Let me find that. Here. The owner will go to the back so you kind of see. That shows up. It's right up there by the third brake light. It is the one from at the top. The yeah, top. that's what I thought. Cool. These are the options it gives you on the cameras. I right hear. Let's look at those. You, you might want to click that. Uh, So they, they get actually a couple different options also on the camera to get different views. You kind of split that bird's eye view on camera. Okay. And your sides. Cool. And that's kind of nice. They get that same camera to kind of give you what you got back in the uh, in the actual bed which is kind of nice and then one all the way to the back similar to the with the hitch yeah right where the hitch is at yeah mm -hmm. cool cool you had some sports mode oh that's right let's go ahead and talk about that. the owner just reminded me they got modes too guys so if you remember on the F-150 guys, we have five modes. We have the normal, we have our eco, we have our sports, our rain and snow, and our tow. And so here, let me show you guys what this one comes with. Move over. It's straight, right? Did you... Oh, duh. Okay, here we go. So here you go, guys. That's the three that they get. They get normal. Oh, hold on. They get sport and off-road, guys. That's the three modes that they get. Hey, does does your truck remember what's what actual mode you put it in? Oh, I'm not sure. I never use it. Okay. All right. My wife just, just... Uh, Okay. Cool. All right. So those are the three modes that this truck comes with, guys. So it's three versus the five that we have. All right, guys, so I also want to go ahead and, and show you guys where the uh, the sunroof so we can kind of look and compare that to our sunroof and also the back window, guys. So in that same area right above the, uh, the rear view mirror, you have the button for the back window, guys. You see there? And then right next to it, guys, they have the actual buttons for the sunroof. Here you go. So we slide it open, guys, manually. And then here's the size, guys, as you can right away tell, you know. It's smaller than what we have, guys, but I think I've heard they're, they're working on it too to go ahead and make that change, to make it a little larger, to compete with four. So you can see that that's it right there. And hit that same button to close it back off. And then we go ahead and close it off. So that's their sunroof compared to our sunroof, guys. So now we're in the back of the actual truck, guys. And we wanted to just kind of look at the back and, and show you so you can kind of compare this as well. I, I asked the owner also how uh, the air circulation was back here. You know, and I know I've told you guys on mine you know that we 
wish they put a little bit more air and that's coming really from the family you know that they feel whenever it's really hot outside there's not enough air blowing to the back of the seats but um but uh my brother-in-law is telling me that they kind of have the same issue here they don't feel it's enough air for the back it's just yes you can see those two vents there and the floor vents under at, at the bottom of the seats so um they're also I'm sure you know wishing that they had a little bit more airflow to the back of the actual uh back seats and um one thing if you guys can kind of tell sorry you know i know there's a car seat here not my car but you know they're, they're uh being nice enough to let us compare it to our truck so um the size of the back guys seems a little bit smaller than what we have and kind of looking into that guys as we were kind of looking at the back and uh trying it out um they still have the hump that that hump in the back floor piece guys as you can see here this piece here um you know my daughter likes to kind of be in the back you know she'll get on the floor and she's able to play you know it could make it a little difficult to do that here with the, still kind of having that floor hump on the bottom you know so that design it's kind of i'm surprised that they haven't kind of flamed this out a little bit more to uh give them a, a nicer kind of working area here especially uh for the bottom What do you guys think, man? Um, you know, uh, thank you to my brother-in-law for letting us borrow his truck to compare to our truck, guys, and see some of those differences, you know? Um, you know, I've talked to him, you know, he told me some of those items, and, uh, you know, took it, taking it from him, you know, using it, and seeing the difference there. Uh, hopefully, you guys can kind of see the difference, and, you know, let me know what you think, see what item you guys like. Uh, remember, guys, comment, share, like, and subscribe. And, uh, you know, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.